Let's jump into some uh, some new technology that we also added. I mean, Mike mentioned AI. Does anybody AI? It's a term I hear a lot these days, right? So something that we've done is we've taken some great technology. Does anybody use script sync or script-based editing? Uh-huh. <laughs> so we've actually added to that. We've actually changed our technology in the way that we work with script sync and phrase find. We've added AI to the name of it. But beyond that, we've actually, we've actually built in an AI-powered engine that actually will allow for a lot more technology to be applied to it. So... Uh, we do have the traditional way of, of course, going in. This is actually a scene from the Orville that somebody nicely went in. Of course, the team went in and actually used script sync and script-based editing to go and mark this up. Interesting, this scene only has one word said in the entire thing. All the rest of this is just visual effects, but they actually used it with script-based editing to go in and just mark that up. And if you haven't seen this, like you'll see here that he says Isaac right here. Did you know that you can actually, you know, grab those marks? And when you hit play, it'll go and start playing. And you can tab to each different take. We should be hearing this if the audio can be brought up. Isaac? There you go. Isaac! So, so hitting tab will now let you take Isaac! and listen to every run of that. So that's really great for, you know, the director or for anybody who's editing. Listen to every take once it's in there. All right. Now, this is with the script. You import the script, the text file, into Avid Media Composer, and you line it manually or using script sync to automatically go in and sync it by the audio. But something that we've done recently in the latest release is we added a preview of script sync AI. Ooh. Now watch what this does. So we have some media. I have some great interviews of some editors talking about what they like about editing, how they got their start. So here we have uh, Susan Vale, the editor of Hacks. I'm going to go in and right click on Susan's clip. And there's an option. I can't uh, zoom in and show it, I don't think. Nope. So yeah, create script from clip has gone in and created a transcription of that clip. A transcription. Now what's really great about this, now it does have to process. The reason why it came up so fast is because I've done this several times. But once the transcription is done, it takes like maybe a few minutes for 10 minutes of video maybe. And what this now has is her entire interview and each little mark here is every sentence that was being said automatically. This is also not going to the cloud for the transcription. This is all happening local to your system. Okay? So if I want to go to the part where she says, and so eventually I realized I was always using those commands together, I simply double click right here, and it takes me to open the scene bin. And so I eventually realized I was always using those two, ca those two commands together. And so those were, I think, the first... Okay. So it actually will take you to that dialogue. And if you didn't know this, and this is something that's been in the software for years with script-based editing, is I'm going to start off with a blank timeline. Just clear this out. And you can start editing from a script or a transcript into your sequence. All you're going to do is hold down a modifier. So I'm going to start off with, uh, let's say, but I was a twin and my sister and I did commercials. So if I hold down a modifier, which is control alt on a PC, command alt or option on a Mac, I double click. That's my first edit. Right now, it's at the end of that edit. I can go to another one. Let's go to, and so Avid is definitely my language of choice. Well, let's add that one. So I hold down the modifiers, double click. That's at number two. So you'll see that I can now put together a rough cut. Commercial. Of We're like kids. And oh, why there's a delay here. That's really weird. Sister and I did commercials when we were kids, and we even did a double commercial. And so I Avid is definitely. So you can see there's a cut. 
right from that point. So being able to do that from the timeline is huge. Now, a little feature that will be added to the next release that I can show you is I'm going to right click on Susan's clip again. I'm going to choose export transcript. No one else has seen this yet. I know we're live. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> But it's, it will be in the software where if I say export transcript, let's go ahead and put it on the desktop. I'll call it, type in Susan. Did it do it? I think because I had it done before. Let me export Susan 1. What happens is it's going to actually create an export of that transcript with time code. Yay! <laughs> All right. Really, really cool there. So if I went to any of those time codes, that would be exactly where that line is. So again, this technology with the AI power that we're adding into Media Composer is going to let us do a lot more advancing really, really quickly. It's our own technology. Now, as far as the transcript, what about if you have different languages? Watch this. So I have a clip here that has actual multiple languages. Check. <laughs> so if I want to go in and look at that same clip, right click and say create uh, script from clip. Look at that. We support 21 languages that it goes in and actually will create the transcript from that. Uh, will it recognize multiple speakers? We're looking into that. <laughs> Again, a lot of, once we started developing all of this, there were a lot of, you know, things that we'll be following, definitely. Now, let's take this a step further. Uh, Script Sync AI is the new name of it. You'll see under Script Sync, Script Sync AI is the option. And then we have phrase find. Phrase find will actually go in and let you type in a word or phrase, and it will find any clip where somebody has said that word or phrase. So command F on a PC, control, or uh, command F on a Mac, control F on a PC. And you'll see here in this window on the far right side, phrase find AI will come up when I type in. I wanna find out where somebody's saying the word helpful. So type in helpful. If you've used phrase, has anyone used phrase find before? A couple of people? You used to have to download a language pack to actually be able to search. You'll notice that that language is not selected here anymore because it knows what the language is. So now if I type in helpful and I hit phrase find AI, it found 132 instances where it thinks somebody said the word helpful in all of my media in the project. And the nice thing about uh, the AI part of PhraseFind is you get a new transcription column where you can actually see where the word is in context to the sentence that's being said. Because again, 130, 1,000 you know, instances, however many. If I want to go to the part where uh, Jeff Ford, the editor of a lot of Marvel films, says the tracking tools are easy to use and incredibly helpful. Double click, takes you right to Jeffrey saying. And incredibly helpful. Um, we do a lot of reshooting. So again, a really great tool. Script Sync AI and Phrase Find AI are part of Media Composer Ultimate and Media Composer Enterprise, or an option if you just have Media Composer. So some really, really great functions there. Um, some other things to point out are, any questions, by the way? One, any, one more question? Anyone? Move on? Yes. The, the question was, would there be a way that once you did the phrase find, if you could go in and create subclips of everything that you found? Uh, great feature request. We will make note of that. <laughs> but right now, you would actually double-click to bring up each instance uh, separately.